What's good? Hope you're all doing good today. It's time for me to explain to y'all where I've been the last two years. I took the last two years off of Facebook to focus on myself. Not so much doing photography or anything, just focusing on my mental health. Focusing on my overall well-being. And to tell y'all the truth, If you all, a lot of y'all have not seen me in the last five years. So when you all saw me five years ago, I was a big guy. I was a, somewhat of a big guy when I was in the army. So when I got out, I started to, six months after I, well, not even six months. I started walking when I got out, but it wasn't, consistently so i would say from almost a five-year period i started back to walk maybe once or twice a week in august of 2021 but even then i still wasn't consistent at it it took another year and a half for me around this time last year to get serious about my weight well basically the fat on my body what I started doing was on the daily, where I work at now, we have a we have a gym facility. So once I got to that position over a year ago, I realized, okay, I don't have no more excuses. I gotta start working out. I gotta get this fat off me. So this time last year, I was starting, I started back to lift weights. Although what I started doing was one of the most simplest, most underrated things to do to get the fat off of your body. I started walking daily. I started at 5,000 steps and then I increased it to 10,000 steps. And what I started doing was, since I was used to getting at my old job, since I was getting used to going, getting to work an hour early because, you know, I gave me time to prepare for the day with my, the where I work at now, I started to get there 30 minutes early and then 45 minutes early, then an hour early. Then I started saying, all right, I can start walking for at least an hour. I walked throughout lunch and it got to the point to where I was getting there at 5.45, then 5.30, then 5 o'clock. Now it's consistent to where I'm getting to work between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. That way it gives me time to work out, exercise, walk, do what I got to do before work starts. And to be honest with you all, I went from 232 pounds, I lost about 70 pounds. Now I'm at, I fluctuate between 160 and 165 now. And another most important thing I started to do was I started to cut a lot of processed foods out. I cut out eating heavy meals after 7 p.m. On top of that, I also began to incorporate more fruits, more vegetables into what I eat now. And I learned that there's a balance to everything we do. I'm at the point now where I can go two weeks without eating meat. However, at the same time, I do enjoy meat. I don't eat pork. However, I'm at the point now to where I don't crave certain foods no more like I used to, like Chick-fil-A. I can eat a Chick-fil-A, but I don't crave it. And you get, you know, you get the gist of it, like Zaspies, places like that. I can eat it, but I don't crave it like that because I'm more content with what I buy and what I eat as far as Greek yogurt, water, coconut water, things of that capacity. So since I got my weight down, I began to work on getting back out more. And it's still, it's still a challenge because I'm still trying to get used to it. Still trying to get used to getting back out, you know, picking my camera back up, getting back into the rhythm of doing photography again. So that's just a little update on what I've been doing, y'all, the last two years. You know, spending, and I've been spending more time on face, on Instagram as opposed to Facebook. But that's just a little update. I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout in for the day. You all take it easy. Have a good day.